If Senator Lindsey Graham, our South Carolina, was actually a man of his word, if he wasn't a Republican politician, in other words, then he would consider the plethora of investigations that Democrats in the House of Representatives have launched into the president and the many other easily identified targets within the Trump administration as fair game. After all, he's a leading member of a party that never encountered an aspect of Hillary Clinton's life that they didn't feel was worthy of spending many years and millions of taxpayer dollars fruitlessly investigating. Graham was also the one who channeled Miley Cyrus during the 2016 election campaign by calling Trump a wrecking ball who was destroying the Republican Party's chances of ever attracting votes from Latinx Americans with his immigration policies. Of course, that was before Graham had the political epiphany that led him to become a born-again Trump buttock smoocher. Now, the Democrats in the House are the targets of Graham's demolition-themed proclamations as the senator relayed the heartbreaking emotional toll that those mean Democratic committee chairpeople were causing for Trump with their voluminous document requests. He believes they are taking a wrecking ball to his life. Clinton said that about us. They're going nuts, Graham said. It seems like nobody wants to solve any problems. He said that a couple times. He said he's surprised. He thought it would be in everybody's interest to do infrastructure and stuff like that. Dot the wrecking ball descriptor seems to be a favorite of the South Carolina senator who has also used the term to describe Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in the aftermath of the murder of his critic journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Graham revealed what is perhaps the primary motivation for his reversal in his attitude toward President Trump with a warning to fellow Republican senators who are considering opposing the president's national emergency declaration in a bill recently passed by the House.